Hello, today we're going to be doing an introductory tutorial on how to create an EC2 instance. So the first thing you have to do is sign into the console. And if you want the URL, it's just aws.amazon.com. So we'll sign into the console. Sign in. So since you're a new user, you essentially have to sign up and you basically just say sign in with the new user. Since I'm returning, I enter my password and I'll sign in. The next thing I'm going to do is select EC2 because, well, this is EC2 instance. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is click launch instance. Um, keep in mind, uh, for when you have to SSH into your instance, um, your username is determined by what kind of instance you have. So um, keep in mind, it's important. So I'm just like Ubuntu because that's what I like. Um, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to choose a T2 micro instance. Um, next, I'm configuring my instance details. And essentially, from here, you can add storage and you can uh, essentially. Um, decide if you want a key so you can find your instance easier if you have a lot of them. Next thing you can do is configure security groups. If you work for a company, this is important. If you don't and you don't care if people can access your work, just continue on. So essentially, just keep in mind of your AMI again. This matters as far as SSHing into your instance. And the next thing to do is launch your instance. So if you don't have a key pair, make one and make sure to save it. You will not be able to get another one uh, of the same name easily, let's put it that way. Um, so I'm going to use an existing key pair. I prefer Python tutorial easy 2 I acknowledge that I have access to this private key and I'm going to launch my instance. And the instance is now launched. Um, next thing is to view that your instance is actually um, running and right now it is initializing. Chances are you'll only have this one if you're watching this tutorial. And part two, we're actually going to use our instance. Um, in other words, we're going to SSH into our instance. And that's it for this part of the tutorial. Um, you'll see that I have the instructions right here. It should be pretty simple, but if you have questions, please be sure to comment. And um, that's it.